ORM textures in about two minutes. First, let's create an image texture for ambient occlusion. Call this AO text. All right. Now we need to go to circles. If you're not in circles, if you're on EV, search the circles. Go down to bake. Select ambient occlusion. And make sure you have this object selected. Hit bake. Now we can control shift click to test how it looks. There you go, our dark spots Get back here. Now, to do it for the RRM textures, we need to use a combined RGB node. So, first, let's give her some space and add control A or control uh, combine color. Then, now we come back here, grab this texture here, put it in the red. So corresponds to O, put the roughness in the green, then put the metallic in the red and blue, sorry. And then we put this into the color. Now you see what we're looking at here. This is pretty much the ORM texture. So now we could create another one. Let's just duplicate this. A new ORM texture. I know my naming conventions are wrong, but here we are. Go back to bake again and set it to be diffuse, just direct color or just color, not direct. Bake. There you go. You could save that out, just save that to the desktop for now. That's the end of the tutorial. But if you're in, you use Godot, let's just create a texture here. Let's add the start with the roughness or I mean, occlusion actually. So enable it. Let's also drag in the texture and we go here in here remember ORM so red corresponds to the ambient occlusion then roughness you could just drag the texture from here to here roughness is the green then metallic is the blue there you go then we can show on other stuff now let's show my albedo and my normal map there you go thanks for watching guys like and subscribe